Hello, someone. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very good. All right, excellent. Glad to hear that. Um, how was your day today? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so we are about to finish today. Um how are como estamos con la plataforma? Yeah, complete. Mm, excellent. Good for you. Bravo. Bravo, Thank bravo. You. Okay, excellent. Um, so um yeah, I'm really glad to hear that that uh, you are um that you are that you completed the platform because um you need to have that done for um for today, right? So excellent, good for you. Okay, you. well, um, I don't want to lose any more time, so I am going to, um, I'm going to start right away with our class. Okay. Um, please tell me if you are able to see my screen. Yes. Yeah. You able to see yeah. it? Okay, perfect. All right. So so someone, this is something that we learned last class. Um do you remember this? We started looking at this at this uh, vocabulary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just a, like a a review. Um always is a word that we use when we are talking about something that is 100% of the time. Okay? okay. And usually is how much? Um, usually is what? What's the percentage? 35%, creo. It, yeah, we can say that it's like 80%. Let's let's say it's about 80%. Often or often is how much? Mm -hmm. Um to make it easy, we'll say that it's about 60. Okay? About 60%. Okay. But yeah, 70, 60%. Sometimes? 50%. Yeah, in English? What is 50% in English? 50. 50, mm -hmm. yeah, 50%. Okay, good. Hardly ever? 14. Yeah, let's say that it's about... Or, uh, about, oh, sorry, sorry, no, sorry, my mistake. Let's, let's make this, to make it easy, let's make this 40, okay? And this would be about 20. Okay? Okay. And then here? Zero. Yeah, exactly. This is definitely zero percent. Okay. Okay. So we're talking about how frequent we do certain activities. Okay, that's what they what it is. So repeat after me, always. Always. Usually. Usually. Mm -hmm. Often. Often. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. 
और ले जाएगा एंड नेवर नेवर एग्जैक्टली ओके सो दीज वर्ड्स um they are what we call adverbs of frequency okay these are called adverbs of frequency um okay so i'm going to put a big box around this Okay. Put that closer here. There we go. Okay. So um yeah. okay. So this ad these adverbs of frequency usually we put them after the subject. In this case, the subject is I. But you can you can use other subjects too. You can use you, you can use he, she, it, we, they, any, any subject is fine. Okay. Okay. After that, we're gonna be using the verb. Okay. We're gonna be using the verb. And the verb is going to be according to the subject. So in this case, the subject is I, so you say I eat, that's fine. But if the subject, let's imagine the subject was she. Repeat. Okay, so imagine, imagine the subject is she. Let's let's change the subject to she. In that case, eat would be. Yeah, so you would say eats. She usually always eats, for example. Okay, so it's gonna depend on the subject. Do we understand? So, so. Okay, so eats, it, we use the S when with the third person singular, someone. So he, she, and it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we put an S, okay? Yeah, okay. So j j just, just to emphasize, I'll put it in a different color. Um, okay, so ju just just to emphasize that I'll put it in a different color. Okay, so you say she eats. So it's going to depend on the subject. All right. All right. Sounds good. Okay. I complete the the agrego después del verbo y complemento. Ah, yeah, exactly. So after after the verb, if it's necessary, we're going to put a compliment, if it's necessary. Sometimes it's not necessary, but in this case, yes. Okay, so she, for example, she usually eats breakfast. Okay. okay. Sounds good? We understand? Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Um, okay, so now, Normally, like, uh, like, or better said, yeah. So usually, the the adverbs of frequency go after the subject. So you say she sometimes eat breakfast, but sometimes is actually a exception. 
Okay? It's an exception. And the reason why it's an exception is because sometimes it is one of those frequency adverbs that um, a can be changed. It's actually the only exception where it's possible to put the adverb for frequency before the subject. It's the only example, or ex sorry, exception. Only exception. Okay? So you put sometimes. only sometimes. Not always, not usually, not often, not hardly ever, not never. No, only sometimes. Okay, it's possible to put it at the beginning. You can say, sometimes I eat, bre I eat breakfast, and that's okay. Okay? Okay, okay. All right, any questions? Okay, anything you want to, uh, uh, so, so uh, these words are clear for you, the meaning, like always, how do you say always in Spanish? Siempre. Mm -hmm. Very good. Usually? A veces. Very good. Uh, no, usually no. Usually. Usualmente. Usualmente. Very good, exactly. Um, um, often or often? Normalmente. Yeah, it, it's like saying um, a menudo. A menudo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. Hello, Angel. Welcome. Well, welcome to oh. our class, Angel. Hi, how are you? I'm oh, fine. Very good. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, so sometimes. A veces. Okay, very good, very good. A veces, hardly ever. Casi nunca. Yes, casi nunca. Um, very good, and never. Nunca. Nunca. Mm. Yeah. All right, um, good, excellent. Um, let's continue. All right, now that is for um, the sentences in the affirmative. It's also possible to, to, to do negative, right? So for example, I could say, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do the negative, the negative would be like this. Um, for example, you and then and then we have eat, right? But because it's negative, we can say don't eat. I sorry, no, sorry. No, no, sorry, my mistake, my mistake. That's... Sorry, my mistake, my mistake. Um, in the, okay, hold on. I'm going to put it over here. It's going to be better, I can use the second Okay, so I can say, I usually don't eat 
breakfast. Okay, I usually don't eat breakfast. Okay. Uh -huh. Exactly. Usualmente no comes, no comes, uh, or no desayunas. Mm -hmm. So you usually don't eat bread. Not with always. Always no. Um, it would be more like with with usually. You usually don't eat breakfast. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. No, no. Good. Excellent. And when you are asking questions, when you're asking questions, we're going to usually, we're going to start with the auxiliary. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with do. Okay. After do, we're going to be using um, the subject, like you. And the adverb of frequency that we're going to be using here is ever. Then we're going to be using the verb have, for example, and the complement, in this case, fish for breakfast. So what is the meaning of ever? Do you know? Siempre. Siempre. Mm -hmm. No, no, sorry, no. No, siempre no. Not exactly. Ever? Do you ever have fish bread for breakfast? It's a question. What does that mean? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? What does that mean? What is ever in this case? What does it mean ever? Mm -hmm. No idea? It means alguna vez. Okay. Welcome, Melvin. Welcome, Melvin, to our class. How are you? Are you? Melvin, are you there? No, no le escuchamos, Melvin, no sé. No sé qué pasa, pero nos le escuchan. No sé. Oh, okay. El micrófono. No, that's fine. Now, now we can hear you. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Welcome. Okay, so we're just reviewing this. Um, so the adverse of frequency always is 100%, usually is 80%. Often it's 60%, sometimes 40%, hardly ever 20%, and never is 0%. Now, we also talked about that um, we usually put um, the adverb of frequency after the subject, like you, she, I, we, they, he, etc., etc. And the only exception is the word sometimes. Sometimes it's possible to put at the beginning. Okay? It is possible to put at the beginning. And then for questions, you say we always start with the auxiliary do, then the subject, then the word ever, and then the, the, the verb and complement if it's necessary. Oops. Okay.
Okay, so my question is the following. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? What does that mean? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? ¿Alguna vez comiste pescado para el desayuno? No alguna vez has comido. Oh, sorry, sorry. Could you repeat that? Alguna vez comiste pescado para el desayuno? No. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, alguna vez. Oh, no, no comiste, pero alguna vez. Desayunaste. Um, no, it, it means... Um, It's like saying, um, it's more like, alguna vez has comido? Alguna vez has comido de pescado para el desayuno? Okay. Okay. Um, okay, is that clear? Alguna vez has comido? Um, like, so it means like, it, like at some moment. Alguna vez has comido eh, pescado para el desayuno? And then here you're going to say, um, you're usually going to say, um, the answer, like, it's either going to be like, yes, comma, or no, comma, and then the subject, I, right, for example. And always. Okay, and then the subject, and then the verb, sorry. For example, in this case, do. Okay, or we can start with the, the adverb frequency sometimes. And then subject, yeah, I. And then two. Does that make sense? Any questions? No? It's all clear? Yes. Yeah, it's all clear. Okay. All right. Perfect. So in that case, um, actually, I will. Hmm. 
I think I will send you this in the WhatsApp group. Not actually. I'm going to do this so that I'm going to have to move everything. Let me just see if I can move everything. Just give me a moment while I move everything, and that way I can take the um the screenshot. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Give me a chance. Okay. Let me do <laughs> oh my goodness this is a lot of work <laughs> didn't realize there was going to be that much okay we're almost there we're almost there okay Okay. There we go. Okay, finally. Okay, now I'm going to take um, the screenshot so that I can send it to you guys in the WhatsApp group. Hmm. Oh, okay. 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 I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to share. Tell me, please, if um, you are able to see um, the, the picture in 
the WhatsApp group. Well, but before um, I do that, let me show you. I'm going to be, we're going to be doing um, some exercises. Um, <laughs> okay, so these are the exercises that we're going to be doing together. Well, not together, but I um, need you to do. Um, so it says here, put the adverbs in the correct place, then practice with a partner. So we're going to put these adverbs of frequency, like usually we're going to put them in the correct place. For example, what do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, so notice that we put the word usually right here. Then you have to also put often, ever, sometimes, usually, hardly ever. You're going to put it in the correct place. Then here... We have the words, I have breakfast on never weekends. And you're going to put them in the correct order. So you're going to say, I never have breakfast on weekends. So you put the everything in the correct order. Does that make sense? Do we understand? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. So I'm also going to take um, a picture, uh, a screenshot of this activity, and I'm sending it to you in the WhatsApp group so that you can also have it. Okay. Okay. Do you see the two pictures? Yes. Okay. All right. So go ahead. I want you to uh, work on this. Okay. And then um, I'll give you some time. I'll give you maybe about five minutes, five, six minutes. And then we're going to check. Okay.
Okay, are we finished? Yo todavía no termino. No, okay, you need more time. It's okay, no problem. Okay, can we check? Can we check everybody or do you need more time? Do we need more time? Angel, Melvin, do we need more time? Yes. You need more time? No? Okay. How much? How much more? Much. How much? How much time? One minute, two minutes? Three. Three minutes. Three minutes? Okay. Melvin? Yes. Are you finished? Yes. Finished. Okay, you're finished. Wonderful. Finish. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay, can we all check? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Um, let's check. Okay. Um, well, I have coffee, cereal, and juice. Mm -hmm. Where do you put the word often? Where? I, um... mm -hmm. Where? Where do you put the word often? Um, I often have coffee. Mm -hmm. Very good. I often have coffee. So we put the word often right here. Okay. Next. Do you eat breakfast at work? Do you never? It's, remember, it's not, it's not never, it's ever. Do you mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. eat breakfast? Good. Do you ever eat breakfast at work. Okay, do you ever eat breakfast at work? I have breakfast at my desk. Sometimes I have mm -hmm. breakfast. Mm -hmm. Continue. At my desk. Yes, good. So there are two possibilities here. So you can say sometimes I have breakfast at my desk or I sometimes. I sometimes, good. So you can put it in these two positions. Okay? okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the two the two forms are possible. Okay. 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 All right. Next. Um do, do you, you... Wait, pardon. No, no, continue. Continue someone. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Do you usually do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Good. Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Okay. Okay. Um, any questions? No? Okay. Next. No, I have rice. No, I have rice. I hardly ever have rice. Good. Good. I hardly ever have rice. So I put it over here. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Any questions? Okay, all right, let's continue then. Um, okay, I have breakfast on never weekends. I never have breakfast on weekends. Next one, work, I snacks, eat at hardly ever. 
I hardly ever eat a snack at work. I hardly ever eat snacks snack, uh, at work. At work. Good. Exactly. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Good. Next. Eat for past the dinner, sometimes I. Sometimes I eat past for dinner. Good. Sometimes I, sometimes comma, I eat pasta for dinner. Good. Okay. Or it's also possible, another possibility is, you can say, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Okay, so whichever one of these is possible, okay? No problem. Okay, and the last one, have I dinner with often family my? I often have dinner with my family. I often have dinner with my family. Perfect. Any questions about that? Okay. All right, perfect. Let's clear then. Um, all right, very good. Now, what we're gonna do is I want you to complete these questions here with your own ideas. So you can say, do you usually eat and then complete? Uh, for example, do you usually eat um, a, do you usually eat, um, I don't know, uh, past, no, like, no. Uh, do you usually eat beef for, then for breakfast, for example? You understand beef? You understand beef? Mm -hmm. De, de qué? Filete de qué? De res. Ajá, de res. Okay, so good. So just in, in general, beef is a res. Okay, so do you usually eat uh, beef for breakfast, for example? This is an example. Uh, you can complete the other ones too. What time do you usually eat? Do you usually eat? Do you ever eat meat for? Do you ever go to a restaurant for? What do you usually drink for? What is something you would never eat for, et cetera, et cetera. So complete these questions with your own ideas.
anything you want, any ideas is okay. No, 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 Yes, uh -huh. <coughs> okay. Uh, what does it mean something? Something or sometimes? No, something. Something, okay. Uh, something is algo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, are you ready? You have the questions? Yes? You ready? Yeah, okay. So, um, Anhin, um, can you... Um, can you ask the first question to Angel or someone? 
No, yo, yo, you can, oh, actually, uy, no, se nos desconectó. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm here. You can ask someone the question, the first question. What time do you usually eat chicken for dinner? Sometime I do. I s sometimes I do. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's yeah, that, that's good. Cool. Very good. Okay, um, Samuel, you can now ask Angel or Melvin. Do you, bueno, uh, este, Elvin, do you ever eat meat for breakfast? So, Melvin, do you ever eat meat for breakfast? Maybe. Maybe. Can you hear? Entendí muy bien lo que era lo que teníamos que hacer. Yo puse lo si desayuno, almuerzo, cena, quizás no lo hice bien. Okay, so. Melvin, if you don't understand something, please ask. You need to ask, okay? So, Samuel is asking you. Can you repeat the question, Samuel? What time to do you usually eat chicken for dinner? Okay, what, what time do you usually eat chicken for dinner? Mm -hmm. So you have to you have to answer the, his question. Samuel is asking. O sea, uno pregunta y, nos, y vos decís a quién estás preguntando y, y al que le decís uno tiene que contestarte. So, Melvin... Samuel asked you, what time do you usually eat uh, chicken for breakfast? Do you say over? No, for dinner, right? Chick for dinner. Chick for dinner. Okay. So, Melvin, what time do you usually eat chicken for dinner? Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes. I sometimes do. I sometimes do. Do okay. I sometimes mm -hmm. do. Okay, sure. That's fine. Very good. Maybe now another question. You're gonna ask. You can ask Angel or someone. Mm. Angel. Okay. Tengo que hacerle una pregunta. Yeah, you're asking them a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So what is your question, Melvin? Es que no, no las escribí. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Any question. Mm -hmm. Vaya, como por ejemplo, en el de arriba que puso usted, dijo que si comía. Tengo que poner un tipo de comida y para si es el desayuno. Just, just, just complete. Complete the question. For example, do you ever eat meat for breakfast? Do you ever eat meat for dinner? Do you ever eat meal, uh, meat for lunch? Just complete. Bueno, entonces, so. este... Do, what, what, do, what time do you usually eat? Uh, eggs? For breakfast. Okay, and what is the question? Uh, sorry, who is the question for? Repeat. Who is the question for? Samuel, Angel? Uh, Angel. Okay. 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 Repeat. But. What time do you usually eat egg, egg, eat? Yes, I always do. Angel, can you repeat that? Yeah. Actually, well, yes, well, yes, yes, yes. It's correct. I just, I just want to hear because I, I didn't uh, hear very, very well. I already okay. See. No, but in English. In English. Yes, I always do. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um. Okay, Angel. Can you ask another question? Okay. Ay, hoy sí te voy a hacer la que te hice, ya la entendiste, ¿verdad, Melvin? A ver. Entonces, do you ever meet for breakfast? Que es la trepa, la trece de primero. Do you ever eat meat for breakfast? Breakfast. Este, quiero, meat. No sé qué quiere decir meat. Meat es carne. Meat. Ah, ok, como carne. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, entonces sería, no, I, I never do. Perfect. Okay, very good. All right, one one more round. Um, Melvin, can you um, ask a question? What what do you usually dream for lunch? What do you usually drink for lunch? Uh -huh. What do you usually drink for lunch? What do you usually drink for uh, lunch? Okay. Samuel. Samuel, what do you usually drink for lunch? For, for lunch. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. Soda. So, but the complete sentence. I. Um. 
I I always say I always drink soda. Mm -hmm. Okay. For breakfast. For breakfast. Really? You always drink soda for breakfast? Ah, for breakfast, me pregunto. Did you did you ask for breakfast? I I think you said for breakfast, right? No. Really? Lunch. No, lunch. Lunch. Lunch or breakfast? Lunch. Oh, okay, sorry. That was my mistake. Okay. Good. Okay, someone one more question. The last one. What is a uh, what is something you never eat for? Is for uh, Angel. And Hilly, you have to, you have to, uh, your microphone, turn on your microphone. Sí, sí. Pero, pref, uh, lunch, dinner, no. What is sometimes you never eat for, for dinner? What is something you never eat for dinner? No, I never do. No, he asked you, what is something that you never eat for dinner? Something, so he, you need to say, what is the thing? Like, for example, I never eat, uh, I don't know, eggs for dinner. Example, you need to say the thing. ¿Qué le está preguntando? You have to understand. Uh -huh. He's asking you this question. Nunca he comido, si nunca... No. What what uh -huh. is something? ¿Qué significa esto? What is something? Algo. Angel? What is something? Algo sería what is something. Uh -huh. Something. And uh -huh. what Algo. what is the word what? What? The meaning of what? Okay. Okay, okay, so what is something? Um, uh -huh. What, what, what? Okay. Okay. Is something. Ah, ya, ya, ya entendí. Uh -huh. Que es algo que nunca has comido. Que nunca no, comes. No, comes, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I eat for broccoli. I, but you need this, the, the adverb of frequency. I never, I always, I sometimes, I usually. I, I, uh -huh. I never eat broccoli. I never eat broccoli. For? Ah, for dinner. For dinner. Very good. Excellent. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. Um, si les está costando esto un poco, les, les um, sugiero que haga un repaso. Okay. Eh, busquen videos en YouTube um, para, de, de adverse of frequency porque sí necesitan saberlo. Esto es un tema bien común. 
Okay, so adverbs of frequency para que, para que ellos. Adverbs of frequency. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. Okay, so that is all for that topic. Um, and now we're going to move on to the next topic, which is actually um, the last unit of this of uh, this class of this course. So this is section five. Okay, this is section number five. Okay, just a second. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, perfect. So um, this, we're gonna be first of all talking about seasons. Let's talk a little bit about seasons. Um, so seasons are times of the year, okay? Um, so for example, um, uh, just a second. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. Okay. So spring. Let's talk about spring. So what what time of the year is spring? Do you know spring? What is spring? What is spring? Spring, what is spring? Primavera, very good, exactly. Okay, so spring is the time when like the, the flowers bloom and the the grass, like um, the, it rains a lot, the trees are very green, okay? <laughs> then we have summer. What is summer? Verano. Mm -hmm. Good. So it's like very hot, Oof, very hot in summer. Then we have the word fall. Fall is the time of the year when the, the, the leaves of the trees fall to the ground. The trees become different colors like yellow, red, orange, and then the trees the the leaves they fall to the ground that's why it's called fall what is the, the what is the name of fall otoño yeah very good another word for fall is autumn okay so you can say fall or autumn okay All right, so we can say autumn or fall. Autumn is more British English and fall is more American English. Okay. All right. Um, then we have winter. Winter is when it's very, very cold. Some in some places, in some places, uh, during winter, it snows. Invierno. Yeah. Okay, there's snow. Okay. 
Okay. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? Any questions about this vocabulary? No. Are you sure? No questions? Okay. Um, yeah. So this is um, some places that, uh, great, great, yeah, that'll, um, so some places, sorry, so some sports that are very popular in this time of the year, for example, we play golf. Do you understand the word golf? The sports golf? Do we understand golf? Yes. Yes? Everybody understands golf? It's very similar to Spanish, right? Okay, golf. Then we have soccer. Okay, so soccer is more like American English. Um, soccer is when is um, when you are kicking the ball. So how do you say soccer in Spanish? Football. Football, very good, exactly. Then we have play baseball. So baseball is very, is very um, popular in summer. Okay. Um, uh, and then we have tennis. Okay, tennis. All right, which is very similar to um, to Spanish tennis. Then we have uh, volleyball. Volleyball. Okay. And swimming. What is swimming? Natación. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you go swimming. So with these ones, you play. You play golf, you play soccer, play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball. But you go swimming. No, you don't play swimming. You go swimming. Okay. Those are very common it's sports in the summer. Now, in the fall, you play football. What is uh, football in Spanish? Mm -hmm. What is football in Spanish? Football Americano. Oh. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So it's it's um so this sport it's like a ball like this, kind of kind of looks like a ball like this. And And it looks like this. Okay, so you you throw it. That's that's uh football. Okay. Aunque esto se mira más como un baguette. Sorry, I'm not a very good drawer. <laughs> okay. All right. I. Uh, huh. Uh, no, what what did you say somewhere? Uh, this is baguette. Yes, uh, it looks um, bad. Uh huh. Yeah, it it's it makes me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we have go bike riding. Do you understand bike riding? Cyclism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cyclismo uh -huh, or or montar bicicleta, right? Bike riding. Okay. And hiking. Do you understand hiking? Mm 
No. 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 Hiking. Is. Yeah. So hiking is when you go like up mountains. Okay. So imagine you have these mountains. Okay, so um, when you are going up the mountain, okay, that that's hiking. Senderismo. Yeah, yeah, or or senderismo. Sorry, anytime. Okay. Okay, good. Then we have um, hockey, play hockey. Do we understand hockey? Do we understand hockey? Yes. So he, over here we have hockey, right? You Usually we play hockey on ice but it is possible to not play it on ice and play it some other way too. Okay, so like you can you can do it on a, like a, a, a um, what's it called, a, like a basketball court. You can do it in a basketball court, um, but usually it's more like ice hockey, usually. Okay, um, then we have Basketball. You understand basketball, right? Yeah. Okay. Ice skating. Okay. So ice skating, these right here, ice skating. You understand ice skating? Patinaje sobre hielo. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Patinaje sobre hielo. Okay. So it's when you have like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Sorry, guys. I really have a really bad. I'm not really good at, at drawing it on. Okay, so ice skating. <clears throat> okay, and then finally, we can also go skiing. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. right. Very good. Which is like um, right here, right? Going down the mountains. Okay, that's so skiing. All right, any questions about this? You have questions? No? no? Okay. All right, perfect. Um, Okay. All right. So practice with me. The vocabulary. Spring. Spring. Everybody, spring. 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 Mm -hmm. Golf. 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 Soccer. 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 Everybody, soccer. Soccer. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Then we have summer. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Baseball. Baseball. Mm -hmm. Tennis. 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 No, tennis, no. Tennis. 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 Yeah, tennis. Tennis. Okay, good. Tennis. Volleyball. 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 Volley. Volleyball. 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 Good. Swimming. 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 Good. Then we have autumn. 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 Everybody, autumn. Autumn. Mm -hmm. So let's go to our uno. Autumn. Autumn. And then autumn. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Fall. 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 Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Good. Football. 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 Good. Bike riding. Bike. Bike riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Mm -hmm. Very good. Hiking. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. Um, winter. 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 Good. Uh, hockey. 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 Basketball. 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 Ice skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Skiing. 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 Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, all right. Excellent. Um, any questions so far? So my question is, what sports are popular in El Salvador? Soccer. Soccer, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, baseball. Baseball, mm-hmm. Anything else? Bike riding. Which one? Which Volleyball. one? But did you say bike riding? Montana bicicleta, bike riding. Yeah, bike riding. Okay, good, excellent. Uh huh. Okay. Anything else that is popular in El Salvador? Volleyball. Volleyball, okay. Now, which sports do you like to see or play, like watch or play? Which sports do you personally like to watch or play? I watch soccer. You watch soccer, okay. What about the rest of you? Basket. Hmm? I watch basketball. 
Okay, good. I watch basketball. Remember, it's not just basket. It's basketball. Because basket is canasta. But basketball is baloncesto. Two different things. So you have to say basketball. Okay, good. Something else? Anything else that you like to watch or play? Anything else that you like to watch or play? We play soccer. Soccer? Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Um, okay, excellent. Let me stop sharing for a moment. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Let's um, go on to the next part. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you this conversation between Lauren and Justin. Okay, and please tell me if uh, you are able to see it. You see it? Yes. 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 Okay, all right, so. Um, Okay, so here's the conversation between Lauren and Justin. Please listen and repeat. So Justin. So Justin. So Justin. Justin. What do you do in your free time? What do you, what do, you do in do you your free time? Oh. What do you do in your free time? What do you do, what do, you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. Well, I love sports. Well, I we love sports. I love sports. Mm -hmm. Really? What sports do you like? Really? What sport, what do, you sport like? do you like? Really? What sports do you like? Really? really? What, what sport do you like? Sports do you like? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer. Hmm. Hockey, Hockey baseball, and soccer are my favorites. 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 Good. Mm hmm. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Wow, well, oh, you're, you're a really good athlete. Wow, you're a really good athlete. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? When do, you when do you play all these all sports? sports? I just watch them on tele. Sorry, sorry. No. Um. Oh, I don't play these sports. Oh, I don't, I don't play, play these sports. These sports. So. I just watch them on television. I use wines and on television. On television. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right. Any questions about the vocabulary here?
questions about the vocabulary? Okay, so a so this is pronounced wow. Wow. Okay, and this it means exactly the same as in Spanish. You know, like you know, when you say wow, come on, like you are surprised. Wow. Okay, wow. Anything else that you're wondering about? No, everything else is clear. Okay. All right, um, so Anhim, can you be Lauren and Samuel, can you be Justin? So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? I love school. Really, what sport do you like? Wow, you are really good athletes. When do you play all these sports? Sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay, someone now you can be Lauren and Melvin, you can be Justin. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Hmm. Hockey. Basketball. Ball. Basketball. And soccer are my favorite. Wow. You're really good at athlete. When you do play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I could watch them on television. I watch them on television. I do watch them on television. Yes, very good. Okay, excellent, bravo. Very good, okay. Melvin, now you can be Lauren and and hey, you can be Justin. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are you are my favorites. Wow, you're a very good athlete. When do you when do you play for this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Very good, excellent. Okay, and just be careful. The pronunciation is of this word is athlete. 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 Mm -hmm. athlete. 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 
Okay, very good. Um, all right, excellent. Um, okay, let's go on to the next part. So, so we have the questions here. What sports do you play? Okay. Um, okay, so here, um, so these are questions with WH, question words or phrases. So let's start with the first word. What does it mean what? What is the meaning of what? Okay. Okay, very good. Who? Como? No, who? Donde? Donde? No, who? No. Quien. Exactly. Quien. Mm -hmm. Quien. Good. Where? Donde. Donde. Good. Donde. How often? How often? Is asking about the frequency. So how often? The frequency. How often? One a menudo. One a menudo Good. When? Cuando. Cuando? And what time? Oh, sorry. Or, or, but what? Just what? What is? We talked about this. What is? Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Very good. So it's possible to say what? with a noun, for example, what sports? What does it mean, what sports? Que deporte. Que deportes, good. What time? Que hora. A que horas. A que horas. Very good. Okay, after the adverb of frequency, Sorry, sorry. After the WH question word or phrase, we're going to be adding the auxiliary do or does. It depends on the subject. In this case, we're going to be using do. And the reason why we're using do is because the subject is you. Okay. That's the reason why the subject is you. But if the subject was he or she or it, then we would say does. Okay. Does that make sense? Do we understand? Yes. It's clear? Yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, very good, very good. Um, let's continue then. After that, we're always going to use the verb. For example, play. Okay. Or practice. Okay. Or start. Any verb. And the verb is going to be in the original form. No change, it's going to be in the base form. Okay? Do we understand? Yeah? Clear? Yes? No? Yeah? Yeah? Yes, yes. Perfect. Okay. So um in that case, 
Okay, then after that, we're going to put, um, we're going to answer full form. What sports do you play? For example, you say, I play hockey and, bas and basketball, or sorry, ba baseball. Okay, so you're going to do complete answers. Okay, so what, what, who do you play uh, baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a we have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Uh, when do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at ten o'clock in the morning. Okay, so full form. Okay, so. So remember, remember the structure, WH question, word or phrase, plus auxiliary, do or does, plus the subject, plus the verb in the base form. Okay? So let's see if we can do this together. We have the these conversations, short conversations. That's complete with the correct word. So, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. What do we, what do you think we're going to write here? Mm, do you usually watch soccer? And the answer is on Sunday afternoons. What would be the correct answer? Where? Where? Where means donde? And the answer is on Sunday afternoons. Donde. If you say donde, it has to be a place, but the answer is on Sunday afternoons. So what oh. is the question? How? Oh. Hmm? What is the question? What does it mean on Sunday afternoons? What does that mean? On Sunday afternoons, what does that mean? In Spanish. On Sunday afternoons, ¿qué significa? Domingo y fines de semana. No, on Sunday afternoons. Afternoons is por la tarde. So on Sunday afternoons? And domingo la tarde. Los domingos por la tarde. So what is the question? Si la respuesta es los domingos what? por la tarde, what is the question? Uh -huh. No, what time? Because what time sería como a las cinco, a las cuatro, a las diez. ¿Cuál es la pregunta que estamos preguntando? Le pregunta usualmente a qué hora ve. ¿A qué hora? ¿A qué horas? Porque si está preguntando a qué horas, va a responder a las 7, a las 9. Pero aquí no estamos respondiendo when. eso. So when, it's... When. Yes, when. When. Es de de when. Don't... Día, it... uh, when. Uh, when is cuando. Cuando. Uh, when do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. Next. And... And 
Um, notice notice the, the answer. No, at my friend's house. No, en la casa de mi, de mi amigo o de mi amiga. So, and, where, good, where, donde, where do you usually watch it, at home, no, at my friend's house, he has a really big t television, next, what is the question, do you go bike riding, and notice the answer. The answer is, oh, about once a month. What is the question? What does it mean, oh, about once a month? What does it mean? Oh, about once a month? ¿Qué significa? Oh, about once a month. O oh, como? Once? Once? Una vez? Al mes. Al mes, good. Ah, como una vez al mes. Okay, so what is the question? Mm -hmm. Yes, Alberto. So what is the question? Oh, 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 thing. Yes, very good. Exactly. How often? How often? Porque how often is cuán a menudo? And the answer, oh, about once a month. Okay. Um, and finally, we have, oh, we have, I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Really? What time? What time? What time? Okay, good. What time do you go? What time? Okay, very good. What time do you do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah? The answer is my sister. What's the question? When? My sister is mi hermana. So what is the question? Ella, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia bien, pero wo, quizás. Este, who? Do, ¿Cómo? Who, 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 quién, who, who. Okay, who. Who. Yes. Who. Good. Excellent. Bravo. Bueno, chicos, eso sería entonces todo. Tenemos ahí para la clase y el curso. Asegúrense de, por favor, terminar la plataforma el día de hoy. Hoy es el último día de terminarlo. Gracias, eh, Ángel Antonio Ramírez. Gracias ahí por conectarse. Um, Samuel eh, Ernesto Reyes Vázquez. Melvin Antonio Godín, Godínez Molina. Y Álvaro, si tal vez pueden encender su cámara. Para la asistencia. Quizás no le funciona porque...
Solo por mensaje estaba mandando. Álvaro, ¿se acuerda que le, le pedí que se podía encenderlo solo para la asistencia? Álvaro, para que se le tome la sesión se necesito que su cámara se encendida. Ok, bueno, tengo que, que desconectarme. Ok, Álvaro. Un momento, pues. Por un momento puso en el chat. Sí, pero Álvaro, necesito terminar la clase. Entonces. Bien. Ok. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ahí está. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok, so that's it, guys. Take care. Acuérdense, por favor, completar la plataforma y sería todo. Ok, nos estamos viendo en un futuro. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye-bye.